Hey guys, Tarek with Cyclone FPV, and we're coming on to part three now of the XJT uh, uh, upgrade uh, that we did. Let me show you on the screen here. Uh, here we go. Okay, so something I just uh, thought of was that if you're not planning to add the access module, which is what I'm planning to do on here to show you guys how to upgrade this to an access radio, then the problem is the firmware you download, the firmware that we downloaded, that I told you to download, is going to use the ISRM uh, um, uh, firmware, which is going to set your internal to access, but it's not. Yours is a, a XJT. So what we want to do real quick is we want to go back and fix that, okay? So here's what we're going to do. The first thing we want to do is let me get you over to the Free Sky page. If you go back to the downloads page for the Horus X10, you scroll down to right here, and it says firmware IXJT, and the OpenTX is for OpenTX, right? So what you want to do is this is the 2.1.0 firmware, and you want to go ahead and download that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that real quickly. And once it's downloaded, we'll click Show in Folder, and we're gonna right-click on that file and left-click on Cut, and we're gonna to go to our folder that we created for the X10 right here. And we're in the, uh, in the uh, right here on the screen somewhere, you can just click Paste and put that zip file that you just did, and then go ahead, right-click on it, left-click on Extract a Whole. Okay, and basically wanna get this file, and here it is right here. Okay, so here are your, here are your versions. Um, and so what we wanna do is, if you see right here on your uh, XJT and you double click it, just take the second folder that's right here, right click, left click on cut, go back to your folder, go back to SD card, go to firmware, and remember how we created these folders ahead of time. So we want a transmitter here and we're gonna paste. Right click in the transmitter and click paste. So our XJT or 2.1.0 is gonna be sitting right here, okay? now. This is, gonna, this is what we're gonna flash our radio with so that we can get this back to using ACCST and not access, because right now, the access module is not loaded in here. So now what we wanna do is, let's go ahead and go to our OpenTX, okay? And um, I'm gonna go ahead and power the radio off here. Just give me one second, okay? Welcome to OpenTX. I'm wondering if I'm gonna be able to do it like that. So Switch right warning. Power this off. Put these in. There we go. Okay. So when we get to our screen here, and again, I didn't show you guys how to get there. Let me do it again. So. Welcome to Open TX. Okay. Switch warning. Okay. So let me power this off. So now basically, what we want to do is we want to get this ready for Open TX. So we're going to hold our two sliders here to the center. Hold our power button. When you see the screen blink just a little bit, let it all go. And then we're going to go to right here, and we're going to leave it on right firmware, right? So what we want to do now is we're going to go ahead and plug in our USB. Okay, it's going to say USB connected, and you're going to see some folders pop up here in just a second. What we want to do now is we want to start synchronizing our SD card. Right? It's about time that we do that, so that when we put folders on here, we can uh, when we put files on here, we go back and forth. So there's our firmware right there. We're going to close that, and we don't need to even look at it. We can just close this too. Okay, we want to click this icon right here. All right, and it's going to say that the local folder is our SD card folder that we did. All right, and our radio folder is going to be, let's make sure it is D right there. Okay, select folder, and we're going to go ahead and tell it to do both directions. Okay, so just click start. And you're going to see it's going to zoom through, but what it is going to do is it's going to create that, that new um, uh, IXJT file is going to now be copied over. And you should see something over here talking about that in a second but what it's doing right now is it's checking the two files back and forth and only going to find only going to move the differences see how it says created right here select that finish Awesome. Okay, so it, it's got the stuff done. Uh, let's see, now we're gonna go ahead and click close, and then we're going to um, safely eject here. So click eject and do the next one. Awesome. Disconnect your radio. Okay. And then when you get to here, you can just click exit. Okay, and it's gonna start. Welcome Echo to warning. Open TX. Switch warning. There we go. Okay, now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go to our system here, hit page, go to our firmware, 
Free Sky TX, Forest version 1.0. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the FCC, not the LBT version. Okay, let me see if I can make that a little bit clearer for you. Yeah, that's not going to help. So there. Just do something like that. Hopefully that helps you. Okay, so you're going to use the FCC version. Hold that down. And then you want to click Flash Internal Module. Okay. Have you ever used one of these, William? These uh, um, Horus the X10s, yeah. dude, they're like, they're awesome. I've seen them, yeah, they're, they're really awesome. God darn! And we got like 40 of them at a discount from them because they were trying to move them out, and they can all be upgraded to access. That's the coolest part. Okay, so it says it's done flashing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back. Now let's check it out. We're going to hold our model button down. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll to our um, internal here. Let me click off. Let me turn this back on. Internal module. And there we go. We've got access and we've got D16. So we have now finally uh, upgraded. Uh, but just keep. see, the problem is, and this is where there's a mistake. This is not... Uh, let me see how I want to do this. It's still running as if it's got an access module on it, and it doesn't. So that didn't help me. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go back. Let's go back to... Um, let's go back here, and let's go to our settings, and let's remove internal access from the setup. And we can leave external access mod. We're going to remove that as well. All right, we're just going to click OK. And we're going to download this new firmware. Um, and so if you if you are not going to be doing the update, then you can download this new firmware. So let's just do download firmware. And we're going to put that here, but we're going to put the letters after OTX. We're going to put dash ACC, oops, A. Dash ACCST. Okay. Dot. Bin. Save. Okay. I don't want to write it to the radio right now. I'm going to click no. Click OK. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our radio off. Okay. I'm going to go just like this. Plug it in. And then we're going to write for Merch Radio. We're going to, uh, this is the one that we want, so we'll go ahead and click write. Click close. Go, and then what we're going to do is we can safely eject these. Okay, unplug, and we're going to click exit. Welcome to Open TX. Okay, now let's go to model. I keep passing it, so let me go to internal. And there you go. Now we're back to XJT, and now we can select D8. That's what all this has, okay? This does not have an X access. So let's leave that like this. And now what we're going to do is go to our system, hold our page button down, hold it down one more time. Yeah, everything's looking good now. Okay, so let's go. There you go. All right, so the firmware that we had on here was going to be for the access because we're going to be putting the module on here but if you're only going to be using xjt then remove the two check boxes and again let me just show you which ones those are you're going to remove these right here so under your settings uh just don't have these two checked okay and if you do check them, it's going to load it as if you're going to go ahead and do your access update but uh you don't want to go ahead and do that right now okay so we'll uh, we'll, we'll adjust that later so anyways that'll be the other firmware that you load so now you can have both of them it's fine there's no harm in doing it um, the SD card files stay the same. Everything else stays the same. All right. So uh, let's see. All right. So here's what we've got now. Now that we've got our radio done, now the question is, all right, how do we go back to using, um, uh, whatchamacallit, 
<clears throat> go back to using the free sky os right so there's a couple things that we're going to have to do here but while we're in this mode we have a customer that is trying to use a uh a uh, uh r9 module and he's having a hard time connecting so i told him we would do that so the next video i'm gonna do real quick is on how to configure this for an r9 module and then we'll take care of it from there and go back to uh changing this back to the free sky os all right guys if you have any questions let me know please as always subscribe to our youtube channel uh, and follow us on Facebook and do all that good stuff. And as always, God bless, be safe, and go spend time with your family. If you know how much time you have left, guys, go make the most of it, and we'll see you shortly. Peace.